up guys welcome to another video today we'll be reviewing uncharted this one came out today and was directed by ruben fleischer and stars mark Wahlberg and tom holland now before we start don't hit that like button subscribe and post some case you're posting no for free video and let's just start so uncharted i am very very new um of course everyone knows what uncharted is it's a classic video game um i haven't played any of them don't know any of the characters the only people that i know are nathan drake and sully uh the rest of them i don't know who they are all the, um, I guess, cameos you can say, and Easter eggs. There is a clear cameo in this film, but I had no clue who it was, so I did not include this, um, that sequence in my review. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. So all the actors and actresses in this film, I think they're good. Um, they're good. Tom Holland, who plays Nathan Drake, uh, Mark Wahlberg, who plays Sully, and Antonio Banderas, who plays Santiago Mercado. I think those three actors in this film are very, very good. Um, the opening sequence is awesome. It is the first Nathan Drake playing sequence, and it's a lot of fun, and it's, again, awesome. Um, cinematography, including the shots, the cameras, the lighting is good, especially that opening sequence. I think it looked really good. I saw what was happening. Um, there was no shaking, shaky camera, although it was in the air, but um, I, could clear, I could clearly see what was going on. So I really, really like that about the cinematography in this film. Um, the first act of the film, I think it was good enough. I set up the characters well enough. Um, some of them I did not care about at all, but it's, you have your three leads and I cared about them um, and they were fun and entertaining. So the first act of the film did a good job setting up those three characters. Um, there are some good backstory sequences in this film with Nathan Drake and his brother. Um, I think it works for Nathan Drake's character because you get a little, um, a little more of that character and you see his relationship with his brother, why he's doing what he's doing. Um, and there is also a good relationship between Nathan Drake and Sully. Um, now Sully, who's of course played by Mark Wahlberg, um, does some things in this film that make sense and obviously um, something that would happen between these two characters. But I think there was a good relationship between those two uh, lead characters. Uh, Santiago Moncada, who is, of course, played by Antonio Banderas, is an entertaining villain. He is fun, entertaining, he's lively, he's vibrant. And on every single sequence Antonio Banderas is in, he carries that sequence. And I think it works very, very well. And I think it was just an overall entertaining villain. Um, there are also many fun and entertaining action sequences especially the treasure hunt like sequences and the second plane sequence. There's a second plane sequence in this film and it's awesome. Um, the characters constantly double cross each other, which makes sense for a film like this. This is an action adventure film, sort of like Pirates of the Caribbean. That's the kind of vibe that I'm getting from this film. Pirates of the Caribbean, Indiana Jones, all of that in this film. And I think uh, those double cross sequences make sense for the film. Um, the the second act of the film, I think, is entertaining. It is entertaining second act of the film. Uh, not the best written film. Um, the second act of the film could have been put together a little better. But overall, I think it was entertaining. Um, the flying ship sequence, which of course reminded me of none other than the Pirates of the Caribbean, um, which is in the third act of the film. It is awesome. It's in the trailer. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the third act of the film, once again, fun, entertaining. And including that final battle. The final battle, like I said, with the ships is awesome. Um, there are also many tense sequences in this film because as a person who's never played the Uncharted games, I know what was going to happen to the characters, who's going to live, who's going to die. Uh, not, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there were, there were not that many consequences in this film, but to me it didn't really matter because this was just a fun, lighthearted adventure. Um, and there are also some hilarious sequences. Mark Wahlberg is very, very funny in this film. Tom Holland is great as Nathan Drake, and he does deliver um, on the comedy. And I think overall this film had a good balance of comedy, um, action, and heart. Uh, the score by Raymond uh, Jawadi is very, very uh, well done. It's thrilling, and I was on the edge of my seat during some sequences within this film. Um, the end to ending sequence. The ending sequence, which uh, I thought was good, is Nathan Drake's brother in a cell. Maybe there's going to be a possible sequel. Uh, makes sense after that ending sequence. Um, and the post credit sequence I thought was good. It was Nathan Drake talking to his brother. And Sully, of course, gets his iconic mustache. 
uh, from the video games. And of course, I haven't played the video games, but I've seen bits and pieces of it. And of course, Sully does have a mustache. Um, and it does end on a cliffhanger, so they're most likely going to make a sequel. That's all the good I have. Now let's move on to the bad. So the story is very basic. There's no substance um, in terms of character development. Again, like I said, the other characters I did not care about at all except Sully and Nathan Drake. The rest of them, I didn't care whether they lived or died. Um, and moving on from that, the villain, uh, Santiago Moncada, who is of course played by Antonio Banderas, he was killed off way too quickly. I don't know why they chose to do that. Again, I haven't played the video game, so I don't know if that was intentional. But for me, I wish Antonio Banderas would have stayed alive until the end and had maybe a fight with either um, with either Tom Holland or Mark Wahlberg. But it, the other villains weren't interesting and fun, so I didn't care about any of them, especially that girl who was with Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland. I did not care about her at all. And when she turned to a villain, it didn't really matter to me. Um, the only guy... Uh, who was a side character, a side villain in this film that I actually enjoyed seeing on screen was a Scottish guy. He was funny, entertaining, and he brought um, he brought all the fun whenever he was on screen. That's about it. Uncharted is better than most video game films. I recommend this film just because of its entertaining value, and I'm going to give Uncharted a B minus. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you can know for a free video. I'm Peter. Thank you for watching.